Hello, hello. Welcome to Mnemonic Store. Cleft lip and cleft palate. Lip and cleft palate, also known as orofacial cleft, is a group of conditions that includes cleft lip, CL, cleft palate, CP, and both together, CLP. These are openings or splits in the roof of the mouth and lip. Cleft palate is a common birth condition. It can occur alone or as part of a genetic condition or syndrome. Cleft lip and cleft palate are birth defects that occur when a baby's lip or mouth do not form properly during pregnancy. The lip forms between the fourth and seventh weeks of pregnancy. What is a lip cleft? A cleft lip happens if the tissue that makes up the lip does not join completely before birth. This results in an opening in the upper lip. The opening in the lip can be a small slit, or it can be a large opening that goes through the lip into the nose. A cleft lip can be on one side, unilateral cleft, or both sides of the lip, bilateral lip cleft, or in the middle of the lip, which occurs very rarely. Children with a cleft lip also can have a cleft palate. What is cleft palate? The roof of the mouth, palate, is formed between the sixth and ninth weeks of pregnancy. A cleft palate happens if the tissue that makes up the roof of the mouth does not join together completely during pregnancy. For some babies, both the front and back parts of the palate are open. For other babies, only part of the palate is open. Causes researchers believe that most cases of cleft lip and cleft palate are caused by an interaction of genetic and environmental factors. In many babies, a definite cause isn't discovered. The mother or the father can pass on genes that cause clefting, either alone or as part of a genetic syndrome, that includes a cleft lip or cleft palate as one of its signs. In some cases, babies inherit a gene that makes them more likely to develop a cleft, and then an environmental trigger actually causes the cleft to occur. Risk factors Several factors may increase the likelihood of a baby developing a cleft lip and cleft palate, including family history. Parents with a family history of cleft lip or cleft palate face a higher risk of having a baby with a cleft. Exposure to certain substances during pregnancy. Cleft lip and cleft palate may be more likely to occur in pregnant women who smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol. Another potential cause may be related to a medication a mother may have taken during her pregnancy. Some drugs may cause cleft lip and cleft palate. Among them, anti seizure anticonvulsant drugs, acne drugs containing Accutane, and methotrexate, a drug commonly used for treating cancer, arthritis, and psoriasis. Having diabetes. There is some evidence that women diagnosed with diabetes before pregnancy may have an increased risk of having a baby with a cleft lip, with or without a cleft palate. Being obese during pregnancy. There is some evidence that babies born to obese women may have increased risk of cleft lip and palate. Males are more likely to have a cleft lip with or without cleft palate. Cleft palate without cleft lip is more common in females. Treatment having a baby born with a cleft can be upsetting, but cleft lip and cleft palate can be corrected. In most babies, a series of surgeries can restore normal function and achieve a more normal appearance with minimal scarring. How to lower the risk of having a baby with lip cleft and palate cleft? Consider genetic counseling. If you have a family history of cleft lip and cleft palate, tell your doctor before you become pregnant. Your doctor may refer you to a genetic counselor who can help determine your risk of having children with cleft lip and cleft palate. Take prenatal vitamins. If you're planning to get pregnant soon, ask your doctor if you should take prenatal vitamins. Don't use tobacco or alcohol. Use of alcohol or tobacco during pregnancy increases the risk of having a baby with a birth defect. Take a moment to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell to never miss any update.